Technetium 99M is a radioisotope that is widely used in nuclear medicine. Technetium 99M releases gamma rays, which are made up of electromagnetic waves. Gamma rays have specific characteristics which are, they have no mass, they have no charge, they travel at the speed of light, they are unaffected by electric and magnetic fields. However, the most important characteristics of gamma rays, which benefit nuclear medicine, is that they are the most penetrating type of radiation and can only be stopped by a centimeter sheet of lead or a meter of concrete. Therefore, they can easily penetrate within the organs of the body, proving to be the most efficient diagnostic tool. Technetium 99M is formed by the radioactive decay of molybdenum 99, which is a fission product of uranium-235. As technetium 99M has a half-life of 6 hours, it has to be produced at the hospital and not transported directly from nuclear reactors. That is why it's formed by the radioactive decay of molybdenum 99, as it has a half-life of 66 hours. At the hospital, the extracted technetium 99M is incorporated into the blood serum and injected into the patient's bloodstream. Its distribution throughout the body can be measured with a scintillation counter or other gamma devices and used to detect blood clots, constrictions, and other circulation disorders. It can also be incorporated with heart tissue and used to assess the damage caused by a heart attack. It can also be used to diagnose brain tumors, bone, lung, brain, and thyroid diseases. The benefits of using Technetium 99M are that it provides an accurate diagnostic procedures through the use of minimal radiation. The released gamma rays are highly penetrating, which means a high degree of detection of diseases. It is also more convenient as it is a non-invasive procedure and it may be provided as a simple blood injection. However, there are some problems associated with the use of Technetium 99. Um, and that includes the fact that gamma radiation can cause damage to living organisms and may disrupt normal cellular processes. Also, gamma radiation may cause damage to biological molecules such as DNA and protein, therefore leading to cancer. Another problem is that it may cause harm to workers involved in the making of Technetium 99M. However, the benefits of Technetium 99M do outweigh the problems. Technetium 99M has a short half-life of 6 hours, which means it rapidly decays, causing minimal damage to the patient. Also, applying a management safety process in nuclear power plants and hospitals reduces the amount of exposure and therefore harm to the people involved in the making and distributing of it. In conclusion, Technetium 99M provides otherwise impossible diagnostic procedures, which is why it plays an important role in nuclear medicine in today's society.